Hello, everyone. Me, Will. And currently, just me, Will. And that was unplanned. Because I don't know where Ian is. I've called him twice. But he messaged me a little bit ago. So, he'll show up, hopefully, at some point. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, today, on this episode of Server Quest, we're going to be playing Anarchy Online! Now, I have an Anarchy Online account. I don't think I've ever played it. I can't remember. But I have it here. <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly do a little... Tra Man, I'm a little dark today. I was tanning you know, all morning. A little dark. I'm just going to transition over in about two seconds. <coughs> oh, gosh. Let's turn that on. Okay, this is Anarchy Online. Came out in 2001, right after RuneScape. Uh, see, it says Level 1 Solitus Enforcer. No idea what that is. Um... So, apparently I played this at one. I just remember being a kid and looking for a good RPG and then never, uh, MMORPG and never finding it. Um, Zach, uh, if you would like to download Anarchy Online, you could do that and then you could come join me. <laughs> this has never happened before. I hope everything's okay. Oh, that's a good one, Karen. Anarchy. She's literally right over there. She was playing Red Dead, but I had to kick her off because I need the internet for this. Anyways, I hit new character. Watch this Halo-esque intro. Welcome to Ruby Ka Territorial Space. We are about to dock with the Morning Star Space Station. Please return to your assigned space. Security locks will be engaged prior to gravity fall. We're enjoying this video. Welcome to the Morning Star. In a short while, you will be ferried down to the surface of Ruby Ka, where a new life awaits you. Please proceed through the laboratories and create the identity you wish to take on. Good luck. And gender. Ugh. Breed. That's just kind of gross. Okay, what should we be, chat? Should I be the big boy? Scary robot people? Scary loot people? Or human? The most common breed. Ugh. Um, op effects, blue man group, parents saying blue man group, Zach, what are you saying? Nano, oh, nano mage, scary blue woman, okay. Op effects, female, selected. This is disturbing. Please choose your appearance. Oh, black dead, <laughs> yes please. <laughs> Oh, oh. Guys, which head should I be? These are disturbing. I think I want to go. Oh, sh hey, Zach. Uh, Karen will get this a little bit too. She looks like that bounty hunter from uh, Phantom Menace. She's the one that shoots at the pod racer. Ooh, Elrond, you decided to join us. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's pretty crazy. Ooh, nose ring. We're going nose ring, everybody. Should she be tall or should she be small? I think tall and heavy. Blender? 
Ugh. Blue Darth Maul? Sorry. I'll, I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> I think those are crystals. That's disturbing. Looks like Big Boss. Um, I, Look at this. Slender? Then medium kind of goes out a little bit, and then heavy's just like... <laughs> I'll go I'll go medium. Okay, now it's time to choose. Please select a profession. Oh my goodness. Metaphysicist? Adventurer? Engineer? Soldier? Keeper? Shade? Fixer? Agent? Trader? Doctor? Enforcer? Bureaucrat? Martial? Artist? And nanotechnician. What'd you say to me, Karen? Fixer, difficulty to play is medium. Let's stick to easy. Uh, so we've got adventurers, low, medium. Low, soldiers, low, medium. Uh, enforcer is low. Bureaucrat, high. Martial art. I think I'm going to be an adventurer. I know it sounds kind of boring. But... Engineer. Ooh, wait. Battle droids. Roger, roger. Adventurers study the animals, learn their ways, and gain from their abilities. I'm going to be a soldier. soldier Look at this cool guy. Please name your character. Ooh. Kel, Kelzorina, because it's a woman. Kelzorina. That's not some horrible thing I just spelled, is it? <laughs> I hope not. Ruby Kai! Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. I'm going to enjoy this grapefruit. Schweppes. Anarchy Online, starting. Oof. Man, they just keep the item store open right away. Oh, gosh. How do you think I control this game? <gasps> WASD. Man, I can't wait to play Star Wars. Ga Zach, you'll have to play Star Wars Galaxies with us. When we play. I, is it me or do I look very skinny? Uh. Oh well. Hey, hey there. Uh, okay, I'm going this way. <laughs> yeah, I'm this way. Oh, uh, Ian, please come back. Ian. Um, Rex Larson tried to kill this alone. It almost certainly result in death. Hey, what's up, boy? I don't really feel like telling you my secrets. The game is very loud. Um, I'm gonna do... How do I open the options? Who said I have an idea? Okay, I'll finish talking. It's the point, Rex. Click the mission button to menu to open your mission window. Control four. Terminate five malfunctioning. What's up, George Glass 87? How's it going? Uh, I have to terminate five malfunctioning. Gotcha. Next section, please. Right click and hold the mission icon to open the mission menu. Look at mission. Oh. Cleaning robots. In order to leave a ret landing and become a citizen of Rubikai. You need an identity. Your mission is to create a fake ID card. Blah, blah, blah. Rex Larson considered himself lazy. Okay. Let's kill these malfunctioning robots. Upload the waypoint of this mission to the planet P. Yes, this is my first time, George. This is server quest. Uh, we've been playing... Uh, MMO games since the beginning. So we started with Tibia, and then no, we didn't start with Tibia. We started with, uh, gosh, what was the name of that game? 
What? Tibula. Sorry. She said tib- fibula. Yeah. Uh, we started with EverQuest, actually, but then we went back, and then we did uh, Meridian 59, uh, and all sorts of older games, and this is where we're at. We did RuneScape last week. Now this is where we are. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to Rex. Oh, that's funny. And then I'm going to... Hopefully... I don't know how to get to the options menu, but if I did, would. Uh, no, escape doesn't do anything, and I'm afraid to hit exit because it might just literally exit. Reach your dot. Oh, look, someone else just made it. I should have been paying attention to combat. Oh, that was scary. I think this game started development before I request. Gotcha. That, that'd be interesting. Um, let me read this thing again. Set to work. Back. Forward. Yeah. How I fight? Yeah, I'm punching it. Die. Uh, I believe I picked soldier. And this music is so loud. The corpses remain on the ground. Left click any items in the corpse to remove them. Oh, beat up this. Combat mode. Dragon attack failed. Not cool. Apparently, I can't attack those. Yeah. Boom. I've got a mission. Oh, I have a... I'm trying to kill robots. Oh, punch them. Did I just die? What the heck, game? Apparently I died. You. Map menu. Mission window. Oh, I very much died again. This is going very well, folks. Very well. Um, inventory. Oh, I do have an inventory. What is this? Can I wear these? That person's shooting a lot. Where? Oh, dude. The belt? Deep? Oh, man, this is... This is crazy. Okay. Did, I, did I put these on? Are they on me now? Wearing, oh, I am wearing sunglasses. Why isn't that in my wear? Or is it? Oh, yeah, they're right there. Okay, so I'm wearing that. Oh, I just opened up a survival pack. Robot junk. Whoa. whoa. Can I wear this? Oh, I just, I just put that on. 
Solar powered assault rifle. That's what I'm talking about. I'll put this belt on. Your computer literacy is required to be at least 20. Okay. Yeah! Okay, now we're cranking on all cylinders, folks. Pew pew! Music loud. Oh! Here comes Ian. Hi, Ian! I'm gonna put you on stream. Hi, stream. Everybody, Ian's here. Hi. Hey, can you give me parsec real quick? I'm probably not gonna be able to join. Oh, um, I can't right now. Okay. But I'll try in a second. Oh no, this droid's coming at me. Oh, um, sorry for being late. No. I hit exit, and I don't want to exit. Can I unexit? No, I can't. How's it going so far? It's going pretty well. The music in this game is extremely loud, so I have to figure out how to turn it down. <sighs> now that someone else is here to talk at the same time. Oh, probably voice meter. Uh, no, no, I have to turn like the game down, like in game down. Oh, uh, well, no, mind in voice meter you can turn down just your desktop audio. Yeah, but I don't want it to do that. Much Hi, as Zach. I like. Hi, George. Yeah, where were you? Uh, I had you? some. So my car's been behaving weirdly, mm -hmm. and it got kind of worse today, just handling wise. So I took it to my parents' place to put it on the lift and take a look at it, and it just took a lot longer than I thought. So I just got back a couple minutes ago. Nice. Sorry, it was no, one of those things okay. where I was like. I should probably tell you I'm going to be late, but I was so busy getting home that I didn't have time to tell you I was going to be late. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, I hope he's not dead or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was for like legally, but not perpetually. Oh, I'm shooting a robot. Did that robot die? I can't really tell anymore. Um, so you, I'm assuming you didn't download the game. So here's the thing. I think it's good that I'm not going to play it with you because I did download the game. Did you have any troubles getting it running? No. Like, out of the box, it ran for you. Yeah. So the problem I had was, even though it's available on stream, I mean on Steam, um, it would open and then crash the desktop immediately. Weird. So so then I looked it up and people were like, oh, well, you have to go in the settings under GUI and like select your display adapter. Mm -hmm. So I went in there and there was like, there's literally 15 display adapters to choose from. And they were all, 12 of them were prefaced with my graphics card name. And then each of them had three variants. So I was like, okay, so it's three variants for each monitor. And I have four monitors, so there's 12 options. So I went through all of the options, and the only two that I could get working are to play it on my left monitor, which is 1680 by 1050, or on my right monitor, which is 1280 by 1024. All the other monitors, it would crash to desktop. Weird. So I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to play like looking at my smaller screen at an angle for the entire time. But then I got lucky. And the car troubles happened, so I couldn't even play it anyways. But I think this is better. I'll just, like, watch you play. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let me um, get Parsec up so you can look. Oh, and you know what? And I could do, like, a walkthrough to help you out. Yes. If you can figure out how to turn the music down, that would be great. I wonder if it was on that options thing. Um, okay. How do I make it some Can you okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, set the request. Wow, you weren't kidding, that is loud. It's like the but the in game stuff's not that loud. It's just the music. 
it's like all of a sudden just gets crazy loud. Okay, I gotta see where this cargo box is. I'll look it up. Then open the cargo box with brand new cleaning robots and set them to work. Okay. There's something about shift clicking that would show it on the map. So have you talked about Anarchy Online 2019? No, I, I haven't really talked about it. Um, George Glass 87 was asking me some questions about it. I assume he has played the game. Yes, I because there there was the option when you launched the game to like play Anarchy Online or Anarchy Online 2019. Yeah. And um, I looked it up. So Anarchy Online 2019, I believe, is a whole new graphics engine. Oh. But it also requires you to be a subscriber. Oh. I just figured they kept an older build. So I was like, oh, 2019, and then uh, this is the 2020. But that makes a lot more sense, to be honest. Yeah, because I, I thought that too. You know, where like they did some big change in 2020 and some people want to play Legacy, so they just kept around an old copy. But it's it's the reverse, actually. Is this the cargo well, box I'm opening? Okay. Um, so you have your left and rear wing, right wing. Left to right wing. I'm just going through. The cargo box I'm supposed to. Oh, maybe it's down. Really okay, here we go. Attention. Oh, are you telling me to shift? Okay, hit F10. Hit F10. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Sound master volume. Just... Okay. My neighbors are making a weird sound upstairs. Like, uh, maybe they're like scrubbing something. Like a weird scratching noise. Um, okay. Whoa! Is that what it sounds like? No, that sounds like a cat throwing up. Hey, Weird. you know what the Anarchy Online Steam page says? What? And I believe this is a lie. It says this is the first sci-fi MMO. But pretty we sure played we played Mer Terra Battle for the Outlands. I'm pretty sure we also played um, Fantasy Star Online. Yeah. Maybe... Yeah, so George says 2019 was just a new server like Vanilla. That makes oh, sense. Oh, gotcha. Music is still loud. That's crazy. Okay. I'm turn the music off. Okay, check your inventory and you'll have some items. Yeah. Did you already go through your inventory? Okay. Yeah, I equip some stuff. Okay. Oh, I was you... supposed to spend skill points, wasn't I? I don't. I only know that because uh, George oh, here. Maybe said right that. there. Under available improvement points, that screen you're on. Yeah. So. Is this, this is across everything. Oh, I have a lot of points. What if I just did what? suggested IP distribution and then yeah, save changes? That looks, good. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, that's cool. weird. They did that thing where like to increase a skill from like three to four cost 40 and from four oh. to five cost 70. That's too confusing, folks. Okay, so you need to talk to Rex Larson. Do you already have a quest? So yeah, I, I did. Okay, and he says terminate five malfunctioning cleaning robots. Yeah, so I killed the five, and now I have to open a cargo container. I just don't know. Oh, I literally found it. Hey, congratulations. Click on the mission just... button and open your mission window control four. Let's do that. Control four. <laughs> right click and hold the mission icon to open the mission. Upload to map. Crazy. Can I zoom this? Upload Whoa. the waypoint. To upload the waypoint. Wow. Return I mean, I kind of like that, but I just wish it was phrased and UI better. Whoa, I did a backflip. I'm done. Can you tell me who your contact is? So I have to get a fake ID to be accepted into this colony. 
Oh, that's good. That's a good opening. And then and then he said, how many people are on the shuttle? Because you're like hit away on a shuttle, but it's oh, the new yeah. new character area. So there's nobody. <laughs> um, ending up. Car- yeah, he says, how do so many people keep ending up on these cargo shuttles? Like every t- <laughs> 10 seconds is a new person. Okay, let's go this way. Oh. Who's that guy? Is that a what's that is that a question mark? Oh, that's weird. What this camera it? I turn, but it doesn't change my direction. But this oh. camera does. Oh that It's like a free look. What are you looking at? Help me out here. Oh, you seem pretty good, dude. I think you're supposed to talk to that guy. Oh, am I supposed to heal him? Or maybe you're supposed to shift click? No, because this is the shift click. First aid. Rarity normal. Sitting We're on the ground? A... Maybe I... and no target. Maybe I'm supposed to heal him? I'm going to look up facts about this game. Facts about this game. I mean, like, oh, now he talks to me. Uh, if you had to pick a country where this game was made, take a guess. Norway. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Canada. Dang. So close, folks. Very close. Very close. Very close, uh, indeed. Did you look that up? How did you know that? Just curious. How did I know what? That it was Norway. It wasn't Norway. No, it is Norway. Are no, you it kidding isn't. Me? Shut up. Yes, is. You're, You're developed such a jerk. By Norwe- no, Norwegian video game development company Funcom. Will, <laughs> out of like 200 countries, you guessed the correct one. I almost said Iceland, too, and then I was like, nah, it's probably Norway. <laughs> oh, my God. That's incredible. That's really good. That's good. I'm incredible, folks. Yeah, you're. I mean, yeah, yeah you're okay. Extinguish um, the gas fire. It this this planet is called Rubica, and the it's the source of a valuable mineral known as notum. You know what I find endlessly hysterical? Made up is names. Made up, made up like minerals or valuable resources. Like, what's the other one? Like unobtainium. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> What's the one from Avatar? Or is that unobtainium? That is, I think that's unobtainium. Left click the comp left click the compact fire suppressing container in your inventory to lift it up, then left click the gas fire to apply it. What's the one from Marvel? Isn't that unobtainium um, as well? No, that's Iman- uh vibranium. Iman- Iman- no, it's well like that's radium. Vibranium is the one. I, for, I forgot about that. That one's not <laughs> bad. It's still like Vibranium. Oh, That's true. Boy. I feel like it's not as egregious as Unobtainium. Um, the narrative was developed to be played out as a series of virtual, quote, roleplay events. Is that all the gas fires? Okay, if you had to guess what year this game takes place in. 2382. Hmm, so close. 28708. Hey, I was in the 2800s. I will appreciate this game, though, because I feel like there are way... There are way too many future properties that pick the wrong year. They pick a year that is too close. You know what I mean? Like 2001 A Space Odyssey? Yes, or like, what is it, 2019 for uh, Blade Runner? Blade Runner. Okay, so you talked to Marcus Stone. Did you extinguish the gas fire? Yep. Gas fires are out. Now I'm talking to him. Hand me... Oh, oh, I have to give him the item back. It opens this every single time. Oh, do not show this tip again. There we go. Thanks again. 
Talk to Flint Novak. That's BJ Novak's brother. Okay, so um, if you, in the bottom left side, if you see the graduation cap and you click on that, yeah, that should bring up your skills window. Skills. Oh, yeah. I can... Yeah, I think you get them pretty quick. I don't have enough to distribute anymore. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just bringing that up because it's um it's in the tutorial. Man, I've been playing uh, RuneScape a bunch. Mm-hmm. Game's still good. Guess what game I've been playing? I probably played about four or five hours of. Um, not. Not uh, what you calls it. Um. Jedi Fallen Order, you already played that. Yeah, and I think I'm done with it. Hi, Twisted. Yeah. Thanks for joining. What's up, Twisted? Um, do you want more hints, or do you want me to just tell you? Um, I, I think I can find my... So I talked to this... I'm assuming I go this way next. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not talking about this game. I'm talking about the game that I've been playing. Oh, yeah. I, sorry. Uh, yeah, give me some hints. Okay. It's a game that we talk about in argumentative tones. Dwarf Fortress. No. Interstellar. <laughs> no. You've been playing uh, Interstellar. <laughs> God, it's such a bad movie. Um, it is a game that I argue. It's a game that you've played recently, very recently. Witcher three. No. Yes, uh, Twisted. Twisted. I'm very new. Very new. Um. It is a game that is a sequel. I like this game. Yes. Yeah, that's another hit. You really like this game, and I'm going into this. I I played the original, and I did not like the original. I like. When did it come out? I'm not sure. Maybe three, four years ago. Three, four years ago. The sequel came out three, four years ago. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to feel so stupid when you tell me. Um, there is a much better version of this game that has Mario in it. Oh, you're playing XCOM 2. Hey, yeah. Mario and Rabbids was $15 today. I thought about it. I think I'm going to give you my copy if you will legitimately play it. Oh, yeah, I'll play it. Um, so so I have been playing XCOM 2. I played for oh, four or five hours. I want to do like a praise question policy here. You know, like a like a what do they call it? Like a polish sandwich or a praise sandwich, whatever it is, compliment sandwich. I'm not going to actually stick to that. It's just, I don't want to be too hard in this game. Um, XCOM 2, that storyline, man, it kicks you off right from the start. It's got some good story going on. Yeah. And it flows too. It flows between cutscenes, tutorial, into missions. It's just got a real good flow to it. And I love it. Um, the game. This is your non war of the chosen, right? No, I'm playing War of the Chosen. You are playing War of the Chosen? Yeah, cool. yeah, because I, I was going back and forth, and a lot of people said, no, just do War of the Chosen because it has a lot of quality life stuff in it. And yeah. It has a lot of good stuff in it. And I think it's got a lot more variety in it than I'm liking. I like the Lost Faction fighting against them with the headshot mechanic where it basically lets you chain a oh, lot of stuff so together. Um, I, I, I am enjoying that. However, however there's still flaws with the game in terms of the the probability is not impacting me as negatively. Mm -hmm. But I think the biggest flaw I have with this game is that the maps are hard to read. Yeah. I'd agree to that. Yeah. Like, like at a glance, I should be able to tell, okay, that's, that's open ground. That's half cover. That's full cover or, Okay, I can get there, but there's just too much going on aesthetically in the maps, and I and I have to rely on moving the mouse around mm-hmm. to tell what is cover, what is not cover. Um, and they just they don't give you enough camera control. I want more camera control. Um, I end up doing the, I end up looking at it from the third floor level, mm-hmm. just because that's slightly more zoomed out. Yeah, there's um, Espe- there's a couple mm-hmm. good mods for that stuff. Yeah. And I think I, I think I'm done with playing the game. I think I've given it an honest shot. I don't think it's terrible. I think I think it's much better than the original. It's solved a lot of my qualms with it, but I, I, I just, I, I, I keep going back to it. But man, Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle just solves a lot of the issues that are in XCOM. The maps are easier to read. 
they don't have the percentage crap the con like you know how with the lost has combos that mm -hmm. is it, the more you play of mario it just becomes the norm is that you just constantly try and combo yeah and it feels fantastic i don't like in xcom that you have to reload your weapon i think that that's like a holdover from the XCOM Jagged Alliance days where it's trying to be like super realistic and I don't think it should be in here. It's, yeah, it gets to the point weird. where you don't really have to, you like, reloading becomes a free action. Um, yeah. I, I just, I think it should be like that from the start. It's just kind of, it's it's like a weird realism in a game that is not super realistic. It's more about the challenge of the strategy than it is about the challenge of realism. Yeah. Um... But yeah, it's 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 better than I thought it was. I, I just I think I hit a mission where it's difficult, and I'm like, okay, well then I'm gonna have to grind other missions, and I'm like, you know what? I think I've given this game an honest shot, and I think I'm I'm good with it. Um, but yeah, I I really Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, fantastic game. Um, it's I I don't mean to bash on XCOM, but it just feels like it's it's a more refined version of XCOM refined in that it doesn't have as much options, et cetera, going on in customization, but the movement, the maps, the strategy, the combo, all of it is like cleaner, but much mm -hmm. more satisfying. And in XCOM, it, the only time it felt satisfying was fighting the lost. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I, I could see it being more satisfying once you start building up like crazy tech and you're outfitting your soldiers you've had for 20 hours, but I just, I don't want to invest that time. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, The other game, how about, how about you? Any other games you've been playing? I have exclusively been playing Metal Gear Solid Five, And how are you I'm, liking it? It's so good. It's so much fun. Yeah. Just, oh, I, having, I, I love the open so world aspect it. of it. I think the problem the problem I had with the problem I had with playing it was not with the game but with myself. I was I don't think it was anxious. It was kind of nervous in a way. So I found it very difficult to let loose. So I would just take everything so slowly in that game. And in doing so, I would bore myself. But I think that's a problem with how I was playing the game. Yeah, I'm just and like I, I'm cooking. It's it's real good. Because I would do like one mission at night. Like I wouldn't play it very fast. And then when I did, I would take forever to like completely scout out a base and then very carefully go through it, which is boring to me. But it's my fault for playing like yeah. that. Yeah, I, I like scout. I like I'll send quiet ahead to scout it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll like go in, tag everyone, then like slowly work my way through. But like that reflex system is so good. The, the story's um, pretty good. The Fulton system is great. I like the base. Yeah. I wish I wish the base was a little bit more utilized, but it's it's still a cool system. It's weird, um, having played Death Stranding before this, is how much of Death Stranding is in Yeah. Um yeah. is in Metal Gear Solid Five, but Metal Gear Solid Five is more realized Death Stranding. It's like yeah, Kojima absolutely. is trying to get back to the point. Of where he was just funny uh so twisted we came across this game we're, we're in the middle of our series called server quest um this is what episode server nine quest. Ten, this is like nine that. so basically we are going through and playing big the big mmo releases in chronological order so last week we played fantasy star online we previously played what everquest meridian 59 um what was that RuneScape. text one Avalon. Avalon. That's what it was. Avalon. I remember yeah. it right when I asked you. So we're going to play it all the way through to, I guess, Fantasy Star. Final Fantasy 14 is the latest MMO we're going to play, right? Um, Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah. I think so. Unless there's a newer one that is, I don't want to say worth think... playing, but almost worth playing. Like, you know? I'm trying to think of what the most recent MMO is. There's been some, like Amazon has theirs, and I think it's Alpha or Beta. They have the New World. I, I think there was one that came out recently, but they're just... We're not going to play all of them. Oh, um, I, we're going to play What's the number? The number's like 25, isn't it? There's a lot on the list. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Um, 
The waypoint shows a white dot on the map and yellow indicator on the compass. Wow. Over there. Twisted's got th three, almost four max level characters. That's crazy. Wow. This is a game I always wanted to play as a kid for some mm -hmm. reason. And, like, because as a kid, my parents wouldn't let me play World of Warcraft because you have to pay for it, obviously. Um, yeah. And so I was like, I kept looking for free MMOs. And this is one I kept, like, thinking, oh, should I download it? Should I download it? For some reason, I never did. I haven't, like, literally this account's, like, 10 years old or something. But I just never getting, played it. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of, like, this reminds me a lot of Star Wars Galaxies. Yeah. As soon as it booted up, I was like, oh, Star Wars Galaxies. Oh, I, which I haven't installed. Time frame. That's We're coming up close. soon, isn't that? Yeah, yeah. next week is... Um... Oh, look at I that little robot. I'll look it up. I know what it is. I can't just... Uh, Camelot. Oh, Dark Age of Camelot. Yeah. Yeah. Next week is Dark Age of Camelot. Then we're going to take a break for two weeks. Be back on March 10th. With... Yeah, I forgot I'm going away. Ooh, you know, we are close. It's either going to be Earth and Beyond or Final Fantasy XI or Star Wars Galaxies. Part of the problem with this series is trying to find games that are we can still run yeah. and join. Yeah, I, I haven't, like, put my feelers out for a past Dark Age of Camelot. Yeah. <clears throat> Which we ha but we're playing the... I think we're playing the Uthgard mod because that's, like, an old... Like, the old version of it. Yeah. What's up, Burblands? This is Anarchy Online. It's an old MMO that came out in 2001, created in Norway, which I guessed. <sighs> Did you play the Fantasy Star Online too? Um, this no. So I loaded it weekend. up, and uh, it they were having server maintenance, and yeah. then uh, they had extended the time, thankfully. And I was like, oh, I'll play at eight tonight. And then Karen and I watched the Oscars, and I forgot. Oh, but it's still downloaded on my Xbox. That's good. They'll probably come back with it. Yeah, um, I, I, I was thinking about it, but I just I think I'm going to wait for the full. Were the you full. signed up? Well, so it's it's available. It's I am a Microsoft insider, an Xbox insider, and it's available to all Xbox insiders. So all you have to do is like go in and download it. Yeah, because I, I signed I up and I wasn't sure if you could be a, what the uh, requirement was. But they, they they did put out tweets saying like, "Hey, it's still available. It's still open. All you have to do is just like go in and download it, as and like be pre-registered as an Xbox Insider." Um, good stuff. But yeah, I watched. Uh, I think Jeff played it on UPF, and so I watched it there, and I was like, "You know, this looks like fun, but it kind of just looks like the one we played." So yeah, I'll check it out when it comes out. Yeah, and I, I do like the thing that I really miss about Planet Side 2 when I was playing it is like the feeling of being part of a big, active, growing, rolling community where things are actively changing and everybody's really excited to play it. Um, And there's like patches coming out and like people are like, oh, check this out. Oh, check this out. You know, and that's that's why I, I kind of wanted to to wait for the launch. The game doesn't have to be great, but I'll at least try it out. Yeah. Uh, speaking of games that are great that I've tried out, but I I just don't think are for me. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. <gasps> no! I know. I'm just as upset about you. I played it for about an hour, hour and a half today. And I just, I really, I think it's great. It's just not for me. Yeah. It took it's me like, like a while to get into it. But once you're into it. Yeah. I think the problem is I'm, I'm... I'm trying to, to save money, so I'm not buying games. Otherwise, I'd go buy Satisfactory right now. Okay. Um, which is a good, because it's allowing me to go through a bunch of my backlog stuff. But it's also making it easy for me to pick up games, try them for a little bit, and drop them. Like, I, tr I played an hour of the Battlefield Five campaign, single-player campaign last night. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's like, hey, you know great effort bad execution in a way 
of like it's it's weird it's it has like cutscenes and characters but then you spawn into the map and you can tell it's just a multiplayer map with some like instead of having a multiplayer map full of people shooting at each other it's just a, an empty multiplayer map with like oh here's three enemy ai oh and here's three enemy ai in a hangar and it's like <laughs> sneak into the hangar and plant a bomb and it's like okay you know and, and i'm not crazy about battlefield multiplayer anymore it feels like battlefield multiplayer hasn't evolved since battlefield three it's just kind of the same static shoot everything you see weird team deathmatch type thing get killed by the same vehicle 10 times in a row yeah so it's i'm just kind of hopping around playing a bunch of different stuff basically but it's good because it's it's i i feel really good in that when i try a game i don't have to beat the game i don't even have to play it for more than an hour and i and and that's not a judgment on the game it's more a judgment on me yeah this guy fight, so, oh this guy's fighting me oh wow do you need uh let's shoot him pew pew yeah he's dead shoot this guy too do you need some uh, direction some guidance uh no i think i'm doing good i gotta go plant this bug now plant that bug oh this body disappeared before i could take stuff oh this guy's hitting me i think my health is somewhere over here oh he just killed right oh that's a weird death animation I don't think I dropped my stuff, which is nice. That is nice. That's very nice. Oh, but now I, I think, gotta run all the way back down. I think in terms of playing, that's all I've been playing. I, I still hop into um, VR, do some Pavlov VR. It's nice. I played. It's difficult because I played. I think like Saturday morning at like nine a.m., and there just wasn't a lot of people online. Um, and I think the max server count is ten players. So the problem is it was like 40, it was like, it's probably about 35 servers and 30 of them were full and the rest of them had like two people in them. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's still just that feeling of Counter-Strike or like late 90s, early, well, actually like early to mid 2000s online shooters where like I played a match in a map that was a McDonald's. It was just a McDonald's yeah. in the parking lot around the McDonald's. And I was running around having fun with that. And because it's VR, it's fun. So you're like, you're like leaning around corners, shooting at people, but then you got to reload. So you have to like physically like take the magazine out, grab a magazine from your pouch, put it in. And you're like getting better at it. So you're doing it more quickly and then peeking around the corner and shooting people. That's um, pretty good. And then I played another match in that, I guess that, that Dunder Mifflin office map is oh, just a yeah. server. <laughs> so I played another match in there. And it was a full house, so there was 10 of us in there, 5v5. It's a pretty small map, but this time it was grenades only. <laughs> which was, and, the, and it's VR. So you, you spawn with like four grenades under your chest, and you have to reach over, grab the grenade off your chest, and then reach over with your other hand, pull the pin. And then you have the grenade in your hand, and you can press a button to cook it or not. <laughs> and then great. you can either run around or you can try and throw it. And it was just so much fun doing that in vr mm -hmm. because like your microphone's on by default and 99 percent of vr headsets have a mic attached to them that is on by default so basically everybody's mic'd up and it was a lot of like it was a lot of like like i kept doing this thing where i would i would take a grenade and i would pull the pin and i would cook it and then at the last second, I would peek around the corner and I'd go, hello, and I'd throw the grenade and, and it would just explode and kill two people. <laughs> That's pretty good. Or I would grab it, pull the pin, and then just run around, like run as fast as I can through the area and just run into the enemy spawn and be like, here you go, left a present for you, drop it on the ground and then just keep on running back to my spawn. <laughs> <laughs> Or, like, find people who didn't really know what they were doing, so they're, like, struggling with a grenade, and you just walk up to them, and you pull the pin in front of them, and then you let it cook, and then you wait for them to see you, and you say, hi, how's it going? And then you both blow up. 
<laughs> the only thing, the one thing I will say about that game that kind of that I, I was going to say kind of stinks, but not really. It only applies to this mode, really. Is you only have four grenades, and so when somebody dies, they drop the grenades on them, but they despawn pretty quickly. So if you can't, it's it's basically you can't really reload your grenades. Um, but I really wanted to be able to go up to a teammate or an enemy and reach over and grab a grenade off their chest vest. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and I tried to do it to a teammate, and I was like, oh, man, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. That would be awesome. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, just still, still a lot of fun. Yeah, um, where are this item? But I think that's all I've been playing. Yeah? Pretty yeah. much. How about you? Anything I've... else? Yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five is really good. I'm really enjoying it. RuneScape, because um, Karen how much, plays. How much have uh, you actually been playing RuneScape? Uh, maybe like an hour a night. Wow, that's a yeah. lot. Because I, I put guys... a video up and then I just like mine or whatever. Sorry, I I didn't mean to interrupt. But have you have you thought about upgrading to the new graphics? Um, so the, my character, um. So I have two accounts. I have my original RuneScape account, which is on the new graphics system, but that mm -hmm. character is like so, like weirdly leveled because it got hacked like thirty times and they just maxed out the mining on it. Oh, um, so okay. I want to go in and like a mining bot. Yeah. Yes, because all my stuff's still there minus the money, uh, which is like crazy. Um, so I want to go check it out at some point and like actually see what's up. And then my other account that I made for the subpixel stuff is what I've been playing on. And I've only been playing the classic, like, upgrading stuff. But it's funny, the old school RuneScape is past where I stopped playing it. So it's still, like, slightly new to me. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Because it's, yeah. like, there's so much stuff in it. Not so much, but there's a lot of stuff in it that I just don't remember because it wasn't there. Yeah. So yeah. I, I might check out the new one. I, I'm not that crazy. I'm only in it for the nostalgia right now. Um, mm -hmm. And for but, the wasting time, which is a yeah. valid use. Because, yeah, Karen's been playing Red Dead Online, uh, and she uses the TV for that. So when I'm at my computer, I, I, I restarted Kentucky Route Zero, and I just haven't gotten back to that because mm -hmm. I hear Cowboys the background so maybe i'll do that yeah i don't know i kind of want to play asheron's call again that game was good i think that's that was uh, something in the background for both of us while we were going through this server quest series of playing mmos was trying to find an mmo that we would enjoy yeah as a good time sink yeah so runescape's been taking over that um i think like this i don't think i'd continue playing i might but um Galaxies, I'm afraid I might. If oh man, PSO I I could, but I don't think I will. It's a little too tough. I just yeah. want something that's easy. That's why like I always go back to World of Warcraft. I have to pay for World of Warcraft. I don't want to keep paying for World of Warcraft. Plus you've already you've already learned World of Warcraft. Yeah. Talk to Stan. Yeah. Me. Maybe it's I Lord of the Rings online. I am um, want to try that. I also have. Uh, uh, my friend who does the Press A Repeatedly podcast, I believe it's his brother plays that game religiously. Um, and he did a whole January of like Tolkien month and like posted stuff from Lord of the Rings Online. So I told him if we do an episode, he's welcome to join us because he knows all about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, that, that, that'll be cool because like some of these games, you know, like when we get to Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, I know. I know a lot about that game because I helped. I helped make it. Yeah, you know? and I, I'd love to check out Guild Wars and then Guild Wars Two, um, mm -hmm. like all that, because a bunch of those I like dived into randomly. I was thinking of trying to get Zach on for Star Wars Galaxies. Um, Ooh, yeah, that just because be. that game we bought, and I have a physical version of it at my parents, and we actually it might be in a box here. <laughs> But we bought it and brought it home, and I just remember we installed it and said you need a subscription, and we just were like, "Well, never gonna play this game," and we just like shelved it. <laughs> and we were I so I like that upset. Yeah. I, I think I played it for like a month, and I just 
I played it for the entire month, but I just did not get it. I don't even think I really did anything. I was just kind of goofing around with it. And then like three or four years later, a friend of mine in high school really got into it. Or no, just a couple of years later, a friend of mine in high school really got into it. So I played it for a month with him, but he was like super high level and I still did not get that game. Yeah. So yeah, I'm interested to see, that's like the, as you stated, that's the big part of this experiment is just see if anything sticks today. Yeah. Um, It'll which, probably uh, be Final Fantasy fourteen or, or Black Desert yeah. Online. Those are my two big bets. Yeah, my friend played Black Desert. He really liked it. Um, fourteen is supposed to be. There's a lot of people who say that's the best Final Fantasy game they've played, which is crazy. Yeah. I, I I keep seeing people on Twitter posting the Heaven's Word thing. Yeah. And being like, we made it. And I'm like, you know what? I'll try that. Uh, anyways, uh, this is probably as far as I'm gonna go. This game seems interesting. I would play another hour or two, just to see what's mm -hmm. up. I kind of like. I didn't really do this game of service as much of like reading through stuff, but you know, that's the way it is. Um, anyways, my name's Will um, at two, Hunt270 on Twitter. This is Server Quest. Next week, da, Dark Heart of a Curl. No. Da, oh, this, <laughs> dark, <laughs> heart, dark Heart of Urkel. -er. Yeah. A Russian man told me to play that game. I haven't mm -hmm. played it. Anyways, next week is uh, uh, Camelot, right? That's what we said. Yes, Dark Ages of Camelot. Right. I think we're going to play the Uthgard mod. Uh, that is like the original. Uh, so we'll check that out because I believe it's still running. Uh, and we want to play closest to release uh, for this series. If you enjoyed it, please follow or subscribe or whatever it is on Mixer. I have no idea. Um just do that. Check out our content. If you want to get to our YouTube, sub subpixelfilms.com will bring you right there. We've got a great video made by Ian. I helped a little bit. Ian did most of it. The Morristown Game Vault. You don't know what that is, so go find out and go to our freaking YouTube page. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll give you a little teaser. It's about somebody who started collecting so many arcade games that they decided to open an arcade inside of a bank vault oh my gosh you like said the whole thing I anyways know. that's crazy what else is crazy is that i'm just tired and i want to stop sorry i i have a new job and i have to get up early for that job and it's annoying but it's okay i have to go to bed early tonight too because i have to get up even earlier tomorrow it's not even that early i have to be in at nine but it's like an hour commute uh not full hour but you know what i mean i read on the train folks or i'm i'm cruising through that harry potter series anyways if you enjoyed this do all of the above that i already said ian thank you for eventually showing up i mm -hmm. was so happy that you did that um and uh until next time remember that your toenails aren't tortilla chips yep bye folks <laughs>